call and let you know that this is not Discovery Channel. And we're not building something in one episode. Welcome back to another episode. We're already on episode number four. I don't know how time has gone by, but we're getting progress on this frame. And we're back at Hoppo's. I mean, I might as well just set up a tent and move in at this point. But anyways, I have powder coat colors with some paint chip options and we're gonna show Alex to get his opinion. I think that we're pretty much there because, you know, we need to get going on picking colors and making things happen. So I'm gonna go in and say what's up and get going on things. like reach new heights. Um, Jaime came by the other day and checked it out. Cut to that footage. Okay, we're back at uh, the happiest place on earth, right? Most stressful place on earth. <laughs> Jaime hasn't seen my frame yet, so he's gonna check out my frame. We're gonna take a look at some other stuff and uh, see what's up. What do you think? It's pretty fucking cool. Hell yeah. And it was lifted and raised and a little bit at a better height to work on. So anyways, come with me. Ah! Okay, not that much progress since you last saw it, obviously, because um, we're filming all the progress. But uh, let's find Alex. He's kind of, I'm just walking around with this bag in my hand. If you want one, Georgia.com, a little hydraulic pump, a little wire wheel. They're homies, they're, they're gonna go cruising. Look at some paint colors. All right, let's do it. Let me go. <laughs> he doesn't want to look at so the paint excited. colors. We need to look in the sun though. Because in the sun, in the light compared to the sun is a whole different thing. It's a whole different thing outside to Magic inside. bag. All right. My magic bag, yeah. You got powder coat and paint? Okay, so this is the powder coat color okay. that they sent me. Prismatic Powders uh, custom did this color because what they sent me for samples didn't quite match. So I sent them back a sample instead and was like, hey, what can we do to match this a little bit better? They came through. Prismatic powders. So that's let's go, our... Let's go in the sun. Let's go in the sun and look at it. <laughs> so this is the painted chip. Dude, that is really close. It's pretty close, right? And then, so this is the one that I sprayed with, with just the, the spray bomb. That's really close. This is holding up putting powder on the engine, especially the block where parts have to go back onto it. Um, Beelmag plating is chroming a ton of parts for my engine block. I think this is good. I think you're you right think, with you it. You think we should give that the okay? Yeah. You gotta remember, you're gonna be looking at it separated. Yeah, so, so like the frame obviously is getting the powder and then the body is getting paint, so. And then you want a little bit of contrast in there too. So even if it's a shade off, I wouldn't even worry about it, but that's actually really, really close. That's probably one of the closer ones that I've seen. Okay. I think you're good. We're gonna run it. Here you go. Hell yeah. Right. Guess what showed up? I'm not gonna slang on the company because they did forget to put my bushings in with my A-arms and it happens, shit happens. But they, they righted their mistake and they sent me out my bushings for my A-arms. So we're gonna put those in probably today. We're also going to weld out some of the frame, grind out and clean up some of the old stuff that's on it and then flip the frame and weld out the whole underside because when the frame came down to me, I thought that the underside of it was already kind of finished off. It was not. So we, we got to address that and yeah, keep that momentum going. Something. Anyway, this is not like this, yeah. right? Okay. Safety third. What do we do? Okay. Measure now. once, cut twice, safety tenth. Um, never wear safety glasses. Need my safety glasses. And um, good luck to us. I'm gonna show you what not to do. Don't do safety squints. Safety squints, bro. Okay, so we're just gonna clean this edge up here. We're gonna clean this up and then we'll come in and buzz it all up with the holder. Hit it. Hit that. 
Like this could All be kind of hard. Yeah. yeah, as best as you as can. As best as you can. And then we're gonna lob off these. Yeah, lob those off, smooth it out. Like right here. Okay. That's the technical term. You don't have to work? Yeah, you can help me. Look at I'm, this I'm, I'm guiding you in the right direction. You got this. I feel like when it hangs in, like down, like right in my way, it's in the way. So that's how we go. For the internet's sake. Also, I should put on gloves. It's a mess. I'm a mess. material makes it clean. It kind of went over this a little bit, but do you want me to like really go over all of this? Yeah, we're going to probably do the finger grinder for that one. Okay. And even like here, like I would want to beef up these walls a little bit because yeah. that's something cool for your PLA on. So yeah, make it stronger. A little bit stronger, yeah. Okay. A little more wall down there. Okay, we'll see how it goes. You know when you go to barbecue and you got the tongs and you gotta you gotta hit the tongs a couple times? You gotta like feel it out a couple times. Anyways. Not that I barbecue often because I'm fucking vegan, but anyways. Yikes. Actually shit. Yeah, I think we do need to actually cut this because you can see this is split. Yeah. See that gap. So I think we're gonna actually have to die grind this, cut it. Okay. And Bring it back it? in so it's actually strong and serves its purpose. Okay. Right now it's spread. Okay. Is there anywhere else that I can hit with this little guy? Yeah, you can take those. <laughs> How is it? It's, so it's walled already in here, so it's not really close enough to one. I got that. Okay. No, I see it moving. Yeah, it's moved a little bit. So what I did is I cut the wall that was already there because it's kind of spread open. And then we're just gonna bring it back together so it's actually structural. So like all this and this on, on both sides is like extra plate for the frame to like reinforce it for the hydraulics. So yeah, like the, it had previously been welded but just more so like kind of tacked and it was sitting too far off the frame itself. Yeah, anytime you could get the plate like right onto the actual material, it's gonna be way stronger than having it spread out. <laughs> I just don't want to burn your eyeballs. I mean, like they're not those. good eyeballs anyways, so. Yeah, well, better than All them no glasses, eyeballs. these contacts, and everything. <laughs> okay, sorry. for me to be practicing on and I would rather it be much nicer than what I can do. Well, so. instead she lets me practice. Oh, there we go. Alex! I've never, this is my first time using one. So fuck around and find out. Yeah. Let's kind of get in there and like take that weld out a little bit. Oh, okay. That way when I weld this, it kind of transitions a little smoother. That makes sense. The Chrome Shop just texted me. Dude, they're fast. Like I know that I shouted them out earlier and you should follow them and use them if you're chroming anything. Biomag, plating, and Santa Ana. Um, legit, they just texted me. engine parts that have been chromed. And when I went there, they even were like, if it's not up to your standards, we will re-chrome it. I'm like, that's what I like to hear. So, 
I'm really excited. <laughs> now to get the powder so that we can put the, the chrome on the engine actually. It's not just gonna sit there in a shiny parts put to use. I feel a little bit useless in this moment because he has to do that part and I, it's not a two person job right now to weld that. So I'll have to just wait it out for the next, <laughs> the next moment. It looks more, just looks matchy. It's proper now. Proper. Yeah. And like doing the cosmetic stuff, like obviously it's not necessary, but it makes it feel so much further along too. And it gives you a better idea. Are you trying to say it's not further along? Well, I'm just saying there's still a lot of work to be done. And I want you to feel like we did a lot. The internet thinks this isn't being built fast enough. And I just want to let you know that this is not Discovery Channel. And we're not building something in one episode or three episodes. This is what real car building is, and it takes a long time. So we're also not just screwing on a shift knob and tinting windows and stopping wheels yeah, on it. We're not on bolting on parts. So it is a drawn out process. So for the guys that are in the fabrication world, they know that you put an arm on, you take it off, you put it on, you're putting ball joints in, you're putting bushings in. It's a multi-step process just to do one step. So it's a process, it takes time, but that's also what sets it apart in the end. No matter how flat it is, there's still two sides. Anyways, let's get to work. <laughs> it will fall off when we flip the frame, so we gotta take all the stuff off. Are these? Some of them have nuts on the back side. We gotta check. Oh. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Try to do it again. Now we're all gonna pretend that we're strong. Yeah. built on a frame table, like a jig, and then it just never got flipped. So that's fine, because we're gonna weld it down. Well, Alex is gonna weld it down because he's, uh, makes it a lot nicer looking than I do. Ah! Yeah. Whack, whack. Raise up a little. Yeah, like all this is not, not good. No. No. It's gonna be a show truck, I promise. Now we're not having multiple welds. Like it's all like Alex is gonna weld it out and it's it's all gonna be uniform. It's it's gonna be the way and for how much we've already cut out and modified, it's it's a lot it's gonna make it a lot simpler because the things that we wanted to change weren't as permanent. So it's okay. Perfect. Everything happens for a reason, you know? Like it's how the world works, I think. Everything gonna be all right. Excuse me, sir, where's your bomber eyewear? You can use Stay. the code HOPPOS20 or GEORGIA20 and get a discount on bomber eyewear. And this guy's over here not even wearing it. We had just flipped and we're... We're just trying to be safe. Um, can you use your code to buy me another set? Uh... I'm gonna use my code and get him another set. A little V into it. Okay. Same thing, like here, a little V. Yeah, yeah. Actually, no. I'm not even gonna do this. Yeah, because I think we decided that, that we might just. We're, yeah, we might update. We might update. We're, we're gonna cut more things out. I'm gonna get me some gloves on. Should we tell her? 
Oh, they're in my back. <laughs> <laughs> I would forget my own head if it wasn't screwed on to my body. And it's not really screwed on very tight either. It's a few loose nuts and bolts. And screws. Okay, continuing on. Continue. Please. Yeah, you only got like 65 other ones, so. Eight billion more this for right now, which like, is good structurally. Yeah. So before we continue. Okay. And then cosmetics we'll go ahead and address after the fact. Okay. Which we're kinda of doing that in the in the middle in between too, but like instead of going backwards a whole bunch of times. I mean it's already a little bit backwards. I mean this whole build is a bit backwards. I sold 59 Impala and got 89 Toyota. Yeah, that's, that's, but, but you got a 59 dash. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. well, It's different. I'm not trying to be like nobody else. There you go. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Am I the safest person? No. Do I help get the job done? Yes. That's all that counts, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, my name is Georgia and I am a hot mess. Emphasize on the mess part. Rad, that can actually this frame, although it is probably going to go on a lot nicer vehicle than I have ever owned, is now providing some great shelf space. Funny in it. Joke's not me. That's where I'm at. Like I look at this, I'm like, I just want to go over that. Too. So it's if you want to mold it, let's weld it first, and then mold it just to fill in the weld spots. If you want visible weld, then visible you welds look good. Like as long as they're all uniform and they look nice. Yeah. Like I like visible welds. It's, it's just a matter of yeah, all this honky jong. Yeah. Doesn't pass the vibe check. I'm stretching it out. I'm out leaning over. I'm like, I feel sore, bro. You gotta get like those, those, the, your pre and post automotive work stretches in. Because as you get older, it's just, your body doesn't want to do the things it wants to do. My words aren't working either, apparently. Welcome to the Hoppo Circus. Actually, no, this is Hoppo's Yoga. Hoppo's Yoga. Sometimes you gotta get into those weird positions and just brace yourself. <laughs> Hold on for dear life. Good day. Well, the Hoonigan mascot. The bestest. Oh, she's 14. Oh. Old lady. What are you bringing me? Do you oh, know? I had a nice dress. Jackets and mediums. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> she's high. Yeah, 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 yeah. You want to see it? This stuff and thing? Yeah. You want to come do. in and see? Okay. So if you're watching this video right now, I'm getting a box of clothing because I'm headed to Colorado next week, which is probably when this video is going to come out. So right now I'm in Colorado uh, for an ice race in Aspen with Hoonigan. So stay tuned for all that footage. It's going to be a little bit crazy. Um, go check out Hoonigan's content with that. Support your lady. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. What up, Bill? <laughs> like, it's all thing like my wheels and all sorts of shit are all over there. This is my truck. Yeah, this is my yeah, truck. This is yeah. my pieces. I'm like, like, bro, this is my pieces. You're like, where's the truck at? This is not my Yeah, it's like, yeah. it's funny because like some of the guys are like, oh, so like it's going to be done, right? I'm like, no, no, no. Like, we're like building a frame from nothing out of metal. Like, it isn't just bolting on parts and off yeah. we go. Yeah, the that is off to you. This is way more than I could put together. Oh. See you guys. It's warm. Okay, that was our break. Interruption, um, intermission concluded. 
Please return to your seats. We're about to start the show again. Yep, let's go. <laughs> it's looking uniform and like proper now. Oh, don't look at it. Okay, now I can see it a bit better. Yeah, that's why I want to do that because then you can kind of really tell where you're at. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, if you take it in a little bit more. We're running out of time schedule, you know. Are we? I mean, we're trying to get Jen Hall, right? Try to finish it by today, at least the bottom side. This is work. This is work. You could probably get off. I'm not trying to get I was like... I'm trying to see like, the angle you get at there. So That's how I lost the hand that day. <laughs> that looks good. Yeah, yeah it's super well stretched. <laughs> so anyways, uh, I'm not sure if you caught it earlier, but we're building like these channels. So there was weld here obviously before. Um, we just smoothed it out and we're building these channels so that Alex can weld over it and make all the welds on the frame, you know, uniform and symmetrical and just look proper um, and a bit nicer. So yeah, that's why we just ground this all down and made these channels chanels tell me tell me that work or not uh, uh, yes. no it's good yeah. i'm give you a hard time just gotta match that side now and we got those two those two and then we can pretty much Flip it? Yeah. Because the rest I could get from the other side. Yay! All right. So we continue. That was the last one. I think that's awesome. I'm sure we'll find something. At some point, we'll probably yeah. flip it over We're again. and flip it over anyways. Like, like yeah, we'll do all that. the double and triple and quadruple checks. This thing is like... It's heavy. Like swing on someone with it if you needed to. <laughs> I wouldn't, I promise. This is like having an infant child. That's my baby Makita. It's gonna be okay. Go. Exciting. That's a major progress today feels good for real but you know how it goes this episode has to end and uh what a way to finish it off with the frame flipping back over so excuse me if you want to clean i just want to thank you for watching following commenting liking subscribing all of that kind of stuff excuse me if you want to clean make sure you check out the links below so you can check out alex's youtube and all of our instagrams um and the Georgia store so you can buy a sticker and support the build because that would that would help a, a t-shirt maybe if you will anyways thanks for watching we'll catch you in the next one and uh bye